hi guys welcome to today's tutorial so in this video i am going to share all the very important real-time interview question and answer as per the automation framework or the automation industry is concerned and i believe this will help cracking interviews especially automation interviews starting from mid-level to big level companies as well okay let's quickly start without wasting much of time okay so what is an automation framework so basically it's a set of tools or libraries or utilities that you develop with some best practices in place as per the coding is concerned which helps us to automate an application with minimal effort by using the reusable components for writing your scripts to automate the application along with proper reporting debugging and error handling features as well right the types of automation framework that are available as of today are keyword driven data driven hybrid bdd that is behavior driven development modular page object model now why framework or what are the advantages that you get using a framework that might be the question so framework is basically core component which provides the necessary utilities libraries and all the support to work with multiple tools to automate any sort of your application with very less effort it saves times and money right how because you are basically using the existing reusable components which is provided by the automation framework it allows us to write errorless automation script with easy reporting debugging maintainable code base it is much more faster than execution okay and it is very much compatible with multiple different browsers platforms environment right it can handle huge amount of data set with different formats as well okay because framework will be having all the utilities to help you out with it provides the maximum coverage so it will increase the test coverage right so next question that might come to you is have you created any framework if you're a fresher and you're starting up with a career with automation or you're trying to switch to automation domain then you can mention that no i haven't got a chance to contribute or scope to contribute to the automation framework development extensively but i'm using my company's existing framework to automate our application you can make any type you can name any type of framework like hybrid data driven like this i can mention that i am using our framework okay now if you're an experienced guy you can mention that yes i am involved in the framework development part and i have contributed by writing different modules utilities components of a framework and you can name some of the utilities or modules or components that you are working with right now next question that might come to you that will you change your framework design if you have to integrate or support a new technology with the existing framework okay the answer should be no because the framework is in place okay so every time to support a new thing or new technology tool you cannot change a framework design patterns here and there that might lead into a mess up right so obviously the design pattern you cannot or you should not change the framework should be such robust or flexible to accommodate new technology or tools or implementation right next question do you follow any design pattern while developing a framework the answer should be yes because when you're working with some development or automation framework okay you should be using some of the design pattern basically language written pattern okay like in java you can use you can mention that you're using singleton pattern doubleton pattern factory pattern composite all this stuff you can mention if you have used that and uh, you can mention those same okay now how you choose the very important question that how you choose your type of automation framework okay for a certain type of automation ap application basically right so answers you can mention that depending on the type of application if the application is heavily interactive or dependent on huge data set or data coming from different format like pdf excel csv yaml okay properties file other other json data so you can mention that we are using it a different framework and if your application is very much dependent having on lots of functionalities actions depend on multiple you know uh, pagination then you can mention we are using page object model right and if it is heavy your application is heavily dependent on data 
along with all the functionalities you can mention hybrid framework or hybrid page of the model calendar like this you can mention the same okay now how how or when you can judge whether the application is or not automated automation friendly if the application is undergoing lots of changes or daily changes or frequent changes or it is undergoing heavy development and it is not relatively stable then obviously it is not automation friendly because everything is changing here and there right so that's how it is now what the type or what type of area of test scenarios you won't consider for automation if the test case is not repetitive or needs to be executed very less or if the portion of the application related to test case is not stable yet now test scenario which includes sporadic behavior or its behavior needs human intervention or in intervention to be considered for testing like area related to barcode or captcha those cases we don't consider or scenarios don't consider for automation or usability or exploratory testing as well what type of test case you will pick up for automation or there's a scenario or test case which are repetitive like regression sanity smoke those test those cases or test scenarios which are heavily needs to be tested with different or multiple type of data set you write one code and test it with multiple data okay how many test cases you can automate per day it depends just don't just don't give away the answer like i can write five test cases two test cases three test cases six test cases like this just mention it depends on the complexity and the length of the test cases if it is hugely complex very complex okay then you can write you can say that i can write one test case per day or one test case might end up taking two days as well okay or if it is very moderate or less very less complex you can mention from three to five okay next question is how like can you explain your automation framework okay in the next video i am going to cover this section because it needs some amount of explanation and uh, but for time being you can if you want to explain your framework you have to basically on a, on a high level i'm telling you if you have to explain your framework you have to show the components whatever components you are using how to mention that and the interrelation and the flow of the framework and each of the parts you have to narrate basically in brief right next question is how or like have you worked on different tools as part of automation framework development the answer should be yes in the market there are two type of this multiple automation tools are available but two major popular tools are like selenium qtp depending on your expertise you can mention that you can mention test ng jmit as a unit testing framework maven girdle and as a build tool ci tool you have can mention that you have worked with jenkins okay you can mention third party tool like sickly or to it like this okay depending on your area of expertise right where do you keep or maintain your code base while working with automation mention that you have a code repository as version control system like git or svn use that for maintaining a code base okay how do you debug or track any kind of test failures or bugs in the code using your framework mention that our framework gives a feature okay through which you can use logs reports screenshot and video recordings okay if you have video recordings as well as well okay moreover you can mention that we are using exception handling mechanism like try catch you catch the, at the exception and we can debug it from there itself like okay now how do you report okay genuine bugs to the business team okay or the development team okay if there is a bug in the application how do you report using a framework you mentioned that we have a reports we have screenshot okay and automation framework is capable of or like we have a feature where we can wherever a failure happens okay the results will be reflected genuine failures happen the result will be posted to the test case management or bug tracking bug management tool like test link, test link jira all this stuff okay then he might ask you how it is happened 
like how what is the feature you mentioned that testing jira has the client api so basically our framework is using the client apis and using their api we can basically integrate your automation framework with those tools and you can publish the results there itself directly right how much time you need or is required to develop a framework okay this is another question so it depends don't give away the answer again straight away they mention it depends on the type and the feature of the framework that you are trying to build and the number of people that are working on the automation development okay so it might take up from one month to four months as well right can an automation framework be plug in and pay like mention yes you can create a jar from your automation framework and that jar you can consume while you are automating your application while you are writing a script or test suite you can basically use the libraries of the charts okay call the fun methods and you can use it right so that's all guys from this section of video okay if you do like the video please share with your friends okay if you do have any question comment suggestions or feedback please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help and do subscribe to my channel for further upcoming videos thank you and have a nice day